Today we want to demonstrate how to install a new ball valve to a K-grade copper water main. We have our company field supervisor here, Lyndon. Lyndon is going to demonstrate how this valve is installed. Lyndon, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Okay, so Lyndon, before we start, if this was a live setting, okay, what would be the first step that needs to be done before you could change a main water main shutoff valve? The first step, you, you got to shut the water in the street. You got to make sure the valve is closed in the street. So you could take the valve off and install the new valve. So have you ever encountered like a, a DIY job gone bad? Yes, uh, one guy was trying to do it live. And one mistake he made, the basement was flooded. And by live, you mean they didn't shut the water off? didn't shut the water in the street. Ooh, that was a big mistake. Big mistake. Okay. All right, so let's just assume that this if this is a live setting, the water main has been turned off and it's safe to remove the old valve. Yep. And now we're going to install a new valve to the new K-grade copper water service. Yep. So what type of supplies do we need to perform this work? First, we need a new valve. Okay. Let's see, we use a Apollo valve, ball valve, and you need a flare-by-mail adapter. Okay. And we're using this is inch and a half copper, mm -hmm. inch and a half valve, inch and a half three by mail copper. Okay. Adapter. So first we put a Blue Monster, Blue Monster Teflon. This is pretty good. Never leak. Never leaks. Never leak. Now why do you use Teflon? Teflon is just to seal the seal the the treads on the on the adapter. Okay. Seal it so it never leak. And we install it on the valve. It's the right way and the wrong way. So which is the right way? This is the right way. And why is that the right way? Because this is a solid over here. Okay. Solid. And this is the nut that holds the ball for the for, for the valve. So what could potentially happen if you installed the flare by mail adapter on the wrong side of the ball valve? If you put it the wrong way, which is like this, and you try to take it off in the future. You could take the nut off easily, and then the, the ball will come out. And then you have a major Then you don't have no valve anymore. Gotcha. That's a big problem. Okay. So we do it the right way. We make it nice and tight. This is my two foot rigid with aluminum. I love them. Now, I see you have two wrenches here, and they look to be different to me. Why do you have two different wrenches? Well, this is a straight wrench. This is the one that holds back. Okay. And this is an offset wrench that I use to do the turning. Gotcha. So this is a straight wrench. You put it on the valve. Mm -hmm. I like to close it when I'm working. And then you use the offset, you make it tight. Nice and tight. Okay. Okay. That's done, then you get the copper. Take the nut off. So what's the nut? This is the flare nut. And where is that gonna go? This is going to copper. Okay, and it has to go on before before you flare? you flare it. What happens if you don't? Because you can't get it on anymore. Okay, goes on like this, nice and easy. Put some pro, some pro dope on your nut, your flaring tool. So why are you using pro dope? Pro dope because you get it on easy and get it off easy. Okay, so it doesn't get stuck. No. Okay. Hammer. Nice. Can over flare it. Can you over flare it? Yep. Okay. Then this wouldn't turn. Gotcha. See? Can't come off. Okay. Some pro dope. Right on the adapter. And then you install. Now, you used Blue Monster on the flare-by-mail that's going into the ball valve, but you're not using it here. Why is that? 
No, because this here is just to tighten, it's not to seal. Okay. In, the flare is sealing. The flare is the seal. Stay seal. This is not the seal, this is just the tight. Okay. And you use Pro Dub so it screws on a little easier. Yep. Now, can you over tighten? This is no. Okay. Because you could only go so far. Lyndon, how long have you been doing this? Uh, close to 40 years. 40 years? Yeah. You just make this tight. And there it goes. Open your water. That's it. Okay. And just real quick, I know, but with the ball valve, how do you know if the ball valve's open or closed? Well, it's it's a it's a it's a direction. Okay. Over here, it's so closes is is is, is crossway. Mm -hmm. Once it's crossed like this, it's closed. Understood. Once it's straight in line with the valve, it's open. Okay. Lyndon, thank you. It's very, very important. As Lyndon said before, with a DIY job that went completely haywire, it's extremely important. Hire and contact a licensed master plumber before trying to do any water main shutoff valve work in your home. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you. Take care, boss. All right, Linda. Have a good day.